Okay. So here's what I'm making. This is a torch holder for my uh, CNC plasma cutter, and I need to I need to put some counter bores in here that are pretty close diameter, and they, the bottom needs to be flat and all that other stuff. So what I've done is I've bored these two holes right here, so I got a good location on them. I'm going to put them here in this vise and come over here and dial up this hole, and then I'm going to cut a counter bore. So, I've got my machine set on zero, and you know, there I showed you, I don't want to move my machine, I want to move my part over to this zero, so that's what I'm going to do with these slides. So I'm just going to kind of get my indicator down here close, and I'm going to move the table. A little bit hard to do when you're standing off to the side. I'm trying to stay out of the camera. All right, let's get one. Oh, stick that down. getting pretty close right there. Alright, so there. So now I've got this hole lined up with the spindle on my machine, which is lined up with the center line of this rotation. So I'm going to go ahead and check that. I'm going to go ahead and just turn this cable. And I want to make sure that this thing is running true. It's looking good. It's right on the money. Right on zero. Okay. So now I've got that. I've got my part aligned to the center of my table. And my machine. is lined up with the center of my table. So I'm going to go ahead and lock this top down. A couple set screws here on the side of it. Lock it down. That looks, that's looking pretty good. All right, now I'm gonna get me get an end mill and uh, <clears throat> cut a counter board in there. So I'm gonna use a quarter inch end mill.
plug them in. Okay, now, let me get back over to zero. Now I'm going to cut a 472 diameter counter bore in there. So I just take 472, and this is a quarter inch end mill. I subtract 250 from it, divide that by 2, and that's how much my offset will be. On my x axis. So, just to stay off that a little bit, that came out to 111 thousandths. I'm just going to go 100 thousandths and see what kind of diameter I get. Okay, so we'll go ahead and lock that. I want this to be an eighth inch deep. Touch that there. Back it off a little bit. Turn it on. Start cranking. Kind of, as I'm, as I'm turning the table, I'm also raising the Z up to get to my depth. I'm going to run it around here at about 100 thousandths. About like that. Go ahead and run around. Bring it back around to zero. Move the X back to zero. And we'll draw it out. Do some checking. I'll go ahead and zoom me up here a little closer. So there's the counter bore that we just created right there. What it checks. Looks like we're about 452 and we want it to be 472. That's 20. We need to go 10 more. Okay, that's good.
check the depth of it. So I'd like for it to be 125 thousandths. Let's zoom you back here a little bit. There we go. So right now that is nine or hundred and one thousandths deep. So twenty thousandths on the X. One twenty four. There you go. One ten over in the X. Okay, we'll go around one more time for a push for a spring pass. Back to zero. Crank our Z out. Shut the machine off. Okay. There's our cannibal. Now, I want this piece of Thompson shaft to fit in there. That's nice. That's what I'm looking for right there. Nice slip fit. That's good. I like that. That works. Okay, now I'm just going to go ahead and do the rest of them. And, uh, that's my cross slide rotary table. Hope you like it.